Oncocerca volvulus, Wikipedia article audio. Oncocerca volvulus is a nematode that causes oncocerciasis, and is the second leading cause of blindness worldwide after trachoma. It is one of the 20 neglected tropical diseases listed by the World Heath Organization, with elimination from certain countries expected by 2020. Morphology Life cycle Black fly stages Human stages Disease Epidemiology Genome Evolution Immune response Modulation by Oncocerca volvulus Endosymbiotic relationship with Walbachia John O'Neill, an Irish surgeon, first described Oncocerca volvulus in 1874 where he found it to be the causative agent of Cra-Cra, a skin disease found in West Africa. A Guatemalan doctor, Rodolfo Robles, first linked it to visual impairment in 1917. Oncocerca volvulus is primarily found in sub-Saharan Africa and humans are the only known definitive host. It is spread from person to person via female biting black flies of the genus Simulium. Oncocerca volvulus obtain nutrients from the human host by ingesting blood or by diffusion through their cuticle. They may be able to trigger blood vessel formation because dense vascular networks are often found surrounding the worms. They are distinguished from other human infecting filarial nematodes by the presence of deep transverse striations. It is a dioecious species, containing distinct males and females, which form nodules under the skin in humans. Mature female worms permanently reside in these fibrous nodules, while male worms are free to move around the subcutaneous tissue. The males are smaller than females, with male worms measuring 23 mm in length compared to 23700 mm in females. The release of oocytes in female worms does not depend upon the presence of a male worm although they may attract male worms using unidentified pheromones. The first larval stage, microfilarii, are 300 mm in length and unsheathed, meaning when they mature into microfilarii they exit from the envelope of the egg. The average adult worm lifespan is 15 years and mature females can produce between 500 and 1,500 microfilarii per day. The normal microfilarii lifespan is 1 to 1.5 years, however, their presence in the bloodstream causes little to no immune response until death or degradation of the microfilarii or adult worms. Oncocerca volvulus causes oncocerciasis, which causes severe itching. Long-term infection can cause keratitis, an inflammation of the cornea in the eye and ultimately leads to blindness. Symptoms are caused by the microfilarii and the immune response to infection, rather than the adults themselves. The most effective treatment involves using ivermectin, although there are reports of resistance developing to this drug. Ivermectin prevents female worms from releasing microfilarii for several months thus relieving symptoms and temporarily preventing transmission. However, this does not kill adult worms so it must be taken once annually as long as adult worms are present. Oncocerca volvulus has been proposed as the causative agent of nodding syndrome, a condition that affects children aged 5 to 15 and is currently only observed in South Sudan, Tanzania and northern Uganda. Although the cause of the disease is unknown, Oncocerca volvulus is being increasingly studied as a possible cause due to its ubiquity in areas where the disease is found. An estimated 187 million people are at risk of Oncocerca volvulus infection, 
with 1725 million people infected and 0.8 million showing some impairment of vision. Oncocerca volvulus has not directly caused a single death, but has cost 1.1 million disability adjusted life years. Dallas measure the number of years of healthy life lost due to a specific disease and show the burden of a disease. Simulium black fly adults require moving water to breed and eggs remain in water until they exit from the pupa and enter the adult stage of their life cycle. Due to this restriction Oncocerca volvulus is only found around streams or rivers. Artificial water systems, such as hydroelectric power plants, built in Africa provide ideal conditions all year for black fly development and make it difficult to control its spread. 99% of cases of Oncocerciasis are found in 31 countries in sub-Saharan Africa although there are areas of limited transmission in Brazil, Venezuela, and Yemen. The disease is thought to have been imported into Latin America through the slave trade. Oncocerciasis was eliminated from Colombia in 2013, Ecuador in 2014, Mexico in 2015 and Guatemala in 2016 due to control programs that used mass drug administration with ivermectin. The total genome size of Oncocerca volvulus is 1.5 x 108 BP and contains around 4,000 genes, with genes for collagen and cuticular proteins being highly expressed in the mature adults. Oncocerca volvulus has four chromosome pairs, which includes a single pair of sex chromosomes. A large X sex chromosome and a smaller Y sex chromosome determine male worms, while two X chromosomes determine female worms. It is thought that one of the three non-sex chromosomes was formed by a fusion event between two smaller chromosomes. Dirophilaria Oncocerca flexuosa Oncocerca lupi Oncocerca okenji Oncocerca volvulus Oncocerca gibsoni Oncocerca gutterosa Oncocerca jacutensis Oncocerca volvulus has low genetic variation between individuals. This suggests a population bottleneck occurred in the past that caused a rapid decrease in the population size. It also shows high haplotype diversity, which is a measure of how unique a group of linked genes are. This pattern of low genetic variation and high haplotype diversity suggests fast population expansion after a bottleneck and has led to the theory that a host shift event from cattle allowed Oncocerca volvulus to infect humans. This is also supported by genetic data that place Oncocerca okenji as the sister group to Oncocerca volvulus. Adult worms are found in nodules and are hidden from most components of the human immune system. Microfilarii are more vulnerable to attack by immune cells because they exit nodules to complete their life cycle. Oncocerca volvulus can be detected by the immune system through the release of soluble antigens and antigens found on the surface of microfilarii and infective J3 juveniles. These antigens allow the immune system to detect the presence of a foreign organism in the body and trigger an immune response to clear infection. The immune response involves raising antibodies that can react with soluble antigens released by Oncocerca volvulus. Opsonizing antibodies that tag cells for destruction are also found against the infective J3 stage and microfilarii but there is not enough evidence at the moment to say whether this is protective. The antigens of Oncocerca volvulus are highly complex and show cross-reactivity with several other filarial worms. There is little evidence that antibodies made are specific to Oncocerca volvulus. However, after the age of 40 the number of parasites carried decreases, 
suggesting that over time some sort of protective immune response develops. Oncocerca volvulus microfilarii can also modulate the immune system to avoid destruction. The complement system is used to enhance the effect of antibodies and phagocytic cells, which engulf and destroy other cells. Microfilarii block this pathway by cleaving C3B an important protein in this process to form IC3B. IC3B cannot go on to activate the next step in the pathway and allows microfilarii to remain in the body with little to no attack by the immune system. Oncocerca volvulus, along with most filarial nematodes, share an endosymbiotic relationship with the bacterium Wolbachia. In the absence of Wolbachia, larval development of the Oncocerca volvulus is disrupted or ceased. These bacteria have been proposed to enhance the symptoms and severity of onchocerciasis by triggering inflammatory responses in the host.